Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and what I have today is an absolute genius concept. Um, I didn't create this, this was done by Shane Wolf. He is one of the Pokemon Coat and Amethyst Redstoners. He is an absolute genius, um, far, far smarter than me. Uh, and what he's done is he has transferred the XYZ coordinates and made them into a scoreboard value, which means you can now do this. Show them in chat. This is dynamic, it is continuous, so wherever I go, it's going to actually store the coordinates in chat for you. Brilliant work. Um, I do actually know how this works now after I've looked into it a little bit. Um, this uses binary. It's actually a very common technique used in map making. Um, you can see it's jittering a little bit because I'm uh, recording and there's a lot of stuff happening in the background. A lot of scoreboard work and uh, teleporting and summoning. What this means is... <laughs> There's also uh, breaking of the chunk limit, so it's obviously going to be lagging a little bit. I cannot release this, unfortunately, to you guys because it is part of the Pokemon Coven Amethyst uh, map. But I'm sure Shane Wolf will be in the comments lurking, uh, so if you guys have any questions about how this works, you can definitely go ahead and talk to him. Uh, before I go into the uh, explanation, what I'm going to do is actually show you guys how this is being used in the map. So first of all, I'm going to clear that and store the coordinates in chat, and what I'm going to do is simply step on this plate. It is going to teleport me into the open redstone world. Uh, I'm currently five or <laughs> 10,000 blocks away from spawn. So what I'm gonna do is simply uh, teleport back. It has stored my coordinates into the scoreboard. So I'm gonna teleport back and just like so, I am back where I actually stored my waypoint. Very, very cool. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's very glitchy. Um, so this is an absolutely brilliant concept because the player no longer has to kill themselves to get back to where they were before after they encounter a battle. Now obviously you're thinking, why not store their location as an armor stand and simply teleport them back to the armor stand after the battle? Well, the issue with that is chunk loading because as soon as a chunk has disappeared, you no longer have the entity loaded. So this is an absolutely beautiful tool for us to use and um, it's dynamic so everywhere I go it's simply going to uh, mark where I am uh, in chat, but it's really just summoning an armor stand where the player is and then it's constantly teleporting the armor stand from a certain location back to the player and then uh, incrementing in binary values or something. I think this is a binary value. It's 2 to the power of something. Uh, and then it's going to keep doing that as the value decreases. It's going to keep teleporting in the back and forth, back and forth until it reaches an endpoint where the player is it's going to score that number as an integer in a scoreboard value. And so what I did was I simply divided it by 10 as a display in the total value. Very complicated. <laughs> I'm not very smart, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of how it works. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more creative content. I'm afraid I cannot release this. I know a lot of you guys would love something like this later on in your maps. It's up to Shane, however, if Shane decides that he like would like to release this, he can create a schematic for you guys and something like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, as always, take care.